so I've finished um, one of my 99p Kindle books and it's called uh, Your Story, My Story by Connie Parman and it's telling the story of the relationship between Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath and it's told from the perspective of Ted Hughes. Now when I was looking at the introduction and the, the afterword by the author she has drawn on Ted Hughes's book of poetry, Birthday Letters. She's gone through all the documents, all the articles, everything that she could find about him to try and portray his side of the, the story. Because after Sylvia Plath's suicide, he was almost all painted the villain of the piece and this tells of his side it explores the relationship of the story that we all know these two beautiful people who form this relationship there's the photographs of them they were almost like the the posh and becks of of that era and reading this side of the story, you get the impression that the relationship between them, they were so closely entwined, they almost created a single energy. They were one creative energy. The poet, uh, the book itself, beautiful prose, absolutely beautifully written. You get the impression that Sylvia Plath was a young, struggling artist. She had all these issues with her mother. She'd already tried to commit suicide before she met Ted Hughes. She is almost portrayed as manipulative. She, she can't, she wants to control him. She wants, she wants to have the fortune, the fame and fortune that he is now getting. And she comes off as a very damaged person, really does. Um, he, on the other hand, he's egotistical, he's vain, he's driven with his own idea of being famous. He's getting his own um, poetry published. But you also get the impression that his love for her, they, he, it was an all-encompassing love for her because, according to the book, and again, this is only a, a fictional account based on what she found out, so we don't know the truth of the matter. You get the impression that he would do anything for her. Um, he would divide his time. He, he moved so that... They, they moved houses so that she could have a better life. It, it was almost a sad love story. And I came away actually not liking either character. I, I didn't really like either of the characters. But what it has given me is a desire to pick up books that I know I've got in the house somewhere. I have got Ted Hughes' birthday letters somewhere. And I have got the last uh, poetry collection that Sylvia Plath wrote, Ariel. I have got that somewhere as well because Ted Hughes published it after her death. Um, so I have now got a desire to pick up these these books and read again as um, now I've read this book. It's a very interesting book. You come away, as I said, I didn't really like either character but you get absolutely drawn into this this story of this relationship that that is doomed really that has got so too much to hold it together if that makes sense there's, there's too much going on to make the relationship succeed so that is the my 99p net galley book um so you know if you've read any ted hughes let me know and uh, I will catch you again another time. So happy reading. Take care and bye.